Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Today, I'm super excited. You know, every day I'm excited. But today I'm super excited because we are going to talk about vaccination. And I'm going to share with you my vaccination schedule and this is the one but guys so many of you actually hundreds of you have asked me sister please share with me your vaccination schedule some of you have even sent you the screenshot of my vaccination schedule but however i've already said please when you go to get in those buds from whichever company will supply you please endeavor to come back with this vaccination schedule and the feeding timetable for those buds because these two are really very very important i am making this video some of you might think alinga is so controversial because she is encouraging us to use the herbal remedies and yet she's still telling us to do the vaccination of these buds i'm still doing my vaccination because i haven't yet uh, First of all, this is the first flock that I have used these herbal remedies and I'm seeing my production. All of us, we are collecting these eggs most of the times together. We are seeing how the birds are producing quality eggs, yellow yolk eggs, double yolk eggs, and you know, the percentage is superb, okay? But I haven't yet uh, discovered or I haven't yet done research about bringing birds without vaccination, without doing any vaccination up to the when they start laying. I started these birds with vaccination and since I started it with them with vaccination, guys, I really want to finish this lot with vaccinating this bird. That is why I want to tell you honestly that, please, let us still do the vaccination of our birds. Now, most of you, if you check in the comment section, have so many diseases affecting your birds. Simply because I've realized some of you are not doing vaccination right. Some of you are never at the farm to use these herbal remedies. You workers are the ones working and guys, sometimes it will become tricky when you're not there at the owner of the farm and you tell these workers to use some of these herbal remedies. First of all, maybe preparing them will be a bit hard and tricky for them. Or some of them will even lie to you that we have given them the pumpkin leaves when they have not given. We have given them the ginger when they have not given. And that is why most of you are getting this, this diseases affecting our farms. And let me tell you, whenever these birds get these diseases, sometimes it is very hard to cure, honestly. Especially this viral diseases sometimes it becomes tricky and in a situation where by, where the whole flock is affected it is sometimes becomes sad you can end up losing hundreds and hundreds of birds that is why i'm going to really share with you my vaccination schedule i'll just read them one by one week by week which vaccination are you supposed to do and in which part of the chicken but before that please if you're still new consider subscribing to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i will be so grateful don't forget to tell me which country you're watching me from and i'll be smiling see you right back so has i told you earlier on today i want us to look at vaccination okay we are going to look at my chat but also there are some tips that i want you to know before you do this vaccination the first and foremost is that uh, whenever you go to purchase these vaccines make sure that you purchase from authentic suppliers i don't want you to go and purchase vaccines which are already expired vaccines that were not kept under good conditions that is not good for our buds and then another thing whenever you are doing vaccination make sure that those buds are not sick make sure that but those buds are not stressed please take note of this and then another thing for those who are still using these modern medicines make sure these buds are not on antibiotics if they have been on antibiotics please give them plain water for two days then you vaccinate the buds because those antibiotics also affect uh, uh, normally affect the use of these vaccines and then another thing make sure that you do the vaccination in the right parts okay because now like for the full typhoid if we don't do it in the right part of this chicken we can end up killing the chicken if we don't give the right doses we can end up killing the chicken so some of this vaccination if you cannot do it by yourself please it's better you contact the people who know it and they come and show you the right 
thing. I don't want you to lose a bird or lose birds because of negligence. Please. It is better to pay someone to come and show you what to do than to lose like 400 birds or 300 birds. That will really be pay very, very painful. And then also another thing that you're supposed to do for those who use chlorine water. The veterinary doctors say it is not good to give these birds chlorine water on the day that you're going to vaccinate these birds. Make sure that the water is distilled if you're using tap water. For me here, I'm safe because I have underground water. But for those who do not have underground water, please make sure you either boil the water or you first distill it before you give it to the birds. And then another thing is that let us do the vaccination right. Let us follow the vaccination schedule very, very well. In that way, we shall not complain. And then also another thing is that on the day of vaccination, please endeavor to be at the farm. However much you're busy like what, please try as much as possible to be present in the farm because sometimes these workers will end up not doing the right thing, will end up not vaccinating other birds, then later on you will still get these outbreaks. Because so many of you are telling me, sister, the birds have Newcastle and yet have vaccinated the birds. When they were doing vaccination, were you there? Why are you showing them the right thing? Because these workers, some of them, they are not, you know, they, do, they, they don't tell us the truth because they might not vaccinate the birds the right way. Now, like for the fall, fall, fall typhoid, personally, I lost two birds in this current flock. I lost two birds and yet I was doing the vaccination by myself. So please endeavor to be available on the days of vaccination. Now, let us go straight to my vaccination chat. I'm going to read it uh, one by one, but another thing you must know that Sise is not a veterinary doctor. Sise is not a veterinary doctor. She is just giving knowledge based on her own experience. So please, I don't want you to ask me, oh my God, which, which compound is there, about which what is, is in that vaccine, please. I don't know. I don't know it. I'm also using what I was given. So, uh, but why I'm sharing this vaccination chat is because that uh, my birds are really doing well. Plus my herbal remedies, the birds are performing well. We have all witnessed to this. So that is why most of you are demanding for my chat. So that is why, please, let us be attentive. If you want to write it down, you can write it down. Now, on day one, we have the chat says we have the days which you're supposed to do the vaccination. We have the vaccines and then we have the method that you're supposed to use to do these vaccinations. Um, and this vaccination schedule is for the layers. And there is this improved local birds. There is Ken Bros, there is Croilers, there is Sasso, whichever name you call it. Okay, so this vaccination schedule is for those two birds. This is not for broilers, this is not for the local chicken. Okay, so day one. The vaccination is done from the archery. I don't want to talk about that because now that is not our business. It is done from the archery. And then from day 12 to day 14, when these birds are still in the brooder, we are supposed to do Newcastle vaccine plus IB life. IB life is infectious bronchitis. And we are supposed to give either the eye drop or in the drinking water but for me i prefer giving them in the eyes so please you'll just drop one one drop in the eye one drop in the eye is enough and then the next vaccination is on day 15 to day 18 okay you see they also give you like they are not strict that this particular day they give you between this day to this day so this one the second vaccination that you will do in as a farmer is from day 15 to day 18, which is the Gumboro boosters. And this Gumboro boosters, by the way, is really very, very important because once Gumboro affects your flock, you will end up losing all the birds. Seriously. So this one you will give mouth drop or you also give in the drinking water. But me. I normally advise let us give it in the mouth let us use the mouth drop and then week six when these birds have reached week six we are supposed to give Newcastle vaccine plus infectious bronchitis 
life or Newcastle vaccine killed. You will go to the pharmacy and you will tell them this. They know what they will give you. Okay? That is also what I do. I go there and tell them what is written here and they give me the right thing. That is why I said, please get authentic pharmacy and buy them from there. Those who are in Kampala, please go to Container Village and buy these vaccines from there. There are authentic pharmacies there. You'll buy these vaccines from there. And then in this week six, you'll give them either in the eye, so that is eye drop, or in the drinking water, or you'll give the intramuscular injection. Personally, me here, I do the eye drop, okay? Now, when the birds reach week eight, we are supposed to give them the full typhoid vaccine. Guys, this vaccine for full typhoid is so tricky. If you cannot do it, please, make sure that you get someone who has done it before to show you the right thing because I lost two birds in two different occasions when I'm doing this vaccination. It was just a slight mistake and I lost these birds. So this vaccination is done in the intramuscular injection, okay? The intramuscular injection, they do it around the breast area here, but there's, there's some specific part that you're supposed to inject. So please, that is what you're supposed to do in, the, in week 8. When the birds reach week 10, we are also supposed to give them the fall pox vaccine. And the fall pox vaccine is, is in the wing, so it is called the wing stab. This one is one of the most simplest. So please, let us also do that then when the birds reach week 14 we are supposed to again repeat full typhoid which is still we shall still use the intramuscular injection this full typhoid is twice and then when these birds reach week 16 we are supposed to give them newcastle vaccine plus infectious bronchitis which is either done in the eye or in the drinking water. Week 16 normally finds when the birds are already, you know, the birds are already mature, almost heading to laying. But personally, I did it actually in the eye because I believe in the eye is more effective. Because in the drinking water, sometimes not all the birds will end up drinking the water. And then when these birds reach week 18, we are supposed to deworm these birds, of which, for this case, I didn't use the modern medicine. I used my organic remedy for deworming these birds, and you give it in the drinking water. And then, when they reach week 35, we are again supposed to deworm these birds. You also give it in the drinking water. Now, I want to talk about. Uh, before I continue, I want to tell us about mixing this Newcastle vaccine in the drinking water because, and this Gumboro boosters in the drinking water. Last time we talked about it when I was vaccinating my birds. But whenever you're going to mix this vaccine in the drinking water, make sure that you make this bird thirsty for some time. Now, like me here, what I do, I first withdraw all the drinking water throughout the night. They will not have any water. Here I switch off my lights at 9 in the night, but I withdraw the water from 6. Then they will stay thirsty up to the next day at around 9 or 10. That is when I will give them this vaccine mixed in the drinking water. And I told you that with the dose of a thousand birds, I mix it in the 20 liter jerry can of water. But make sure the birds are thirsty. If those birds are thirsty, they will really run for the water. All of them will go and drink this water. Because sometimes, why it is not safe to give these birds this vaccine in the drinking water, some birds will end up not drinking this water. And make sure you put the drinking water there for only two hours. Then you withdraw all the containers or drinkers, go and clean it, and then again, you give them now plain water. But for me here, I give them... I pound my fresh ginger oil, blend it, and give them to drink. And then now, after week, that, after week 35, they said here that make sure that birds are vaccinated against Newcastle disease every after three months. Okay? 
That is what this chart says. After finishing all this vaccination successfully, make sure every after three months you vaccinate these birds with Newcastle because Newcastle, it is one very stubborn disease that will continuously affect these birds. Okay, me here, I do it after every two months. But it depends. Sometimes I also skip. But they are saying you can do it after every three months. That is when you follow this one very, very well. Okay? So that is what my chart says. I don't know whether we have all understood. But please, for you not to get so disturbed, make sure that if that company can give you this vaccination schedule, please get it from them so that you will always follow from there. But I'm very sure this is the chart. It applies everywhere around the world. So long as you're having layers, all these improved buds, crawlers. So for today, that is all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you so much for loving me. And if you're still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video. Comment in the comment section down below. And I will be so grateful. See you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye.